Oh boy, I literally just started the game and... Uh... Yeah, we're definitely heading towards the end, aren't we? By the way, howdy guys, this is Scorecat13, the woman with the deep voice, and it is March the 30th, 2023. I'm recording this at 12.23pm. And... It's due time for insanity. Oh god. Okay, that's better. Much, much better. We finally have some happy, happy, happy stuff. Let's go in here. Yeah. We have to say Polly. Basil has been all by himself recently, so I'm sure he's lonely. It's nice to know that Basil has friends who care so much about him. Indeed. Hi Basil, it's Hero. I had to remember my voice there for a second because it's been weeks since I've had to talk. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey, and Sunny. We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? We just wanted to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I think that's the last thing he needs right now. I'm really sorry to bother you. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before, especially Sunny. If I've learned anything these past few days, is that friends should be there for each other. I learned that from Aubrey. Hi, Basil. This is Aubrey. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want to know that you're okay. Is it weird that I just noticed that Aubrey's hair literally goes all the way to her butt? Interesting. I think we should stay here for it. Yeah. Last time, we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we need each other most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly, do you think we can uh, sleep here for the night? You can definitely tell that Corycat 13, that woman with the deep voice, is high on caffeine. Because the stutters are back. Oh, you're all so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. Also, I think you're a handsome hero. I might stare at you for a while. No, that's awful. I'm sorry. Had to lighten the situation a little bit. Because there's going to be, like, very few opportunities for there to be any lightheartedness within the next few episodes. I'm just going to say that right now. Let that title screen set in just how dark things are going to get from here on out. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Oh, so happy. Awesome. I called the couch. This is all happening so fast. Okay then, since Kel wants the couch, everyone else can have a kilt or a quilt. Yeah, kilt. I'm gonna make you sleep on Scottish skirts. We have a lot of those. I'll go grab them now. Yeah, and you're just gonna hear me sniffle every once in a while. Because my allergies are really bad in spring, so just just get used to it. Man, she's so bad. <laughs> Why do you get the couch? Well, duh. It's because I called it first. Bitch slap. 
Ow, that hurt. Ah, uh, typical Kellen Aubrey. Some things never change. Alrighty. Let's go in the bathroom. I'm sad that they don't follow you into the bathroom. Let's see. It's just us. I'm just glad we didn't see freaking something following us that time. Oh, I forgot to do something. Very, very important. A toilet. Okay, I feel better. You know me, I, I gotta go and pay homage to the toilet. Alrighty. This is a very small house if you stop to think about it. I mean, it's all just one room. Alrighty. You hit this, and it's the point of no return. So, let's go ahead. And hang out with our friends. This was the part that I thought was... Um, trying to think here. This was the part that I thought was going to happen whenever we entered Kel's house. I wonder what they're doing there. Sunny's just there just trying to figure out what's going on. Oh, it's Polly. We promise we weren't jerking off or anything. Hey, Sonny. I, I know this probably... I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting. But I just want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. Aww. Uh... I'm so cheesy, hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hero's always been such a big softy. Just like you, Aubrey. What did you say? <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying. I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's the softy now. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. At least this time, anyway. Just like I know that Mari's still here with us, too. Too soon. You know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sonny. It would be nice to have a proper goodbye. Oh, you'll see him, just not in the way you think. Yeah. <sighs> that was an actual yawn, by the way. Man, I'm getting sleepy. What the? Is he asleep already? Yep, that's California. That part of him hasn't ever changed a bit. Hey, Sonny. Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time. Eh, not really. I've had a few days practice. But I really appreciate you doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's the big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you've got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Sunny. After you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. I think she may still have a crush on him. Yeah, then we can all go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park. Or the beach. Or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows, we can do anything. 
Oh, hero. You big softy. Come here, I'll give you a hug. I'm actually going to back up the microphone a little bit because I've noticed that I've been peaking the audio a bit. Huh. This sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. Well... You know, except for that douchebag. What's his name? The Maverick? Or whatever? Mikhail. Please keep him out of it. He's annoying. Okay. I don't like him either. Come on, guys. It's time to sleep already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good night, guys. Good night, Kill. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Sonny. See you all in the morning. <laughs> oh, that face. So stupid. Aw, she's so cute. She almost looks like a uh, Yandre or something. Well, everyone's asleep. But... But, but, but... We're not asleep. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Uh-oh. Will you forgive me? My best friend? My hand is literally shaking right now on the controller. It looks like Basil is dealing with a something of his own. Please. Uh oh. Now where could we be? <gasps> Wait a minute, are we in white space? Why the hell are we here? Could have swore the big to do with Basil happened right now. But yes, we are in the dream world right now, as Sunny. Pretty different, right? And there is a Mori right there. Or wait, is it me? Nope, it's a Mori. And of course, he says absolutely nothing. But this annoying light bulb that's been bothering us for the last little while I think it's time for us to bring it down. A light bulb hangs from the ceiling. Do you want to destroy it? Fuck yes. It's time that we knew the truth. Sorry, Amori. Fuck you. I'm taking back control of my body. Bam! Ooh. And with that... Sonny can no longer hide from the truth. It's time for our big battle with something. Yep. It's time to head into the end game. Alright, just like before, we need to calm down. So the gimmick with this battle with something is that we're going to be going through every single one of our fears one by one. We have to use the associated skill in order to confront it. Because, you know, we can't let something take over, you know. 
And because something is not a traditional battle, we can't directly fight him, or it in this case. Instead, we have to continue using everything that we've learned so far to confront it. I don't know why, but I taste the freaking Pete's Pepsi in my mouth. Alright, next up, Arachnophobia. We need to calm down, because if we don't, we can't focus. Sorry, you dumb spider, you're not getting me. Man, this battle's just, ooh. I can feel the anxiety right now, just from the music. It's very... I can't really describe what the music feels like. Quit staring at me like that, you bastard. Alright. The last... The last my phobia. We need to persist. We gotta show it who's boss. Yeah! Stare at that bastard! this. Well. Something is staring at us. We need to focus. That way we can see what it is. You feel like your life's in danger. I'm not running away. Not this time. Your lungs tighten up. This honey persists. Your heart beats out of your chest. And yet we still persist. Fingers won't stop trembling. You hear your breathing begin to steady. You hear your heart begin to steady. courage and learn to overcome. Alright, we've learned our final skill. It's time to overcome our pain. It's time to overcome what's been holding us back. Our something can no longer hold us down. We can finally see what that something is. You got a light bulb. Things have brightened up again. Very nice. It looks like we're gathering all the memories that we need to finally confront what's been bothering us. Because if you remember, one of the last times we were in the dream world, we, ga we began to pick up a bunch of these photos. And now... 
can finally start to piece together what's happened. That's a pretty background. What's up, Basil? Sunny, you're finally here. I always dreamed that you would come back for me, but maybe it's too late. The truth of that day will be hard to accept. <laughs> when you see it, you have to stay strong. And if you can, please forgive me. Understood. You got Basil's photo album. Alright. Well, let's see what's in. The darkness is encroaching again. Whew. No. What a happy thought. Alright. Let's see where all these pictures go. Eh, looks like we have a long way to go before we can continue to the final part of the game. There we go. Ugh. It just happened. Ah, the desecrated photo. An eerie red glow radiates from the TV. You feel strangely drawn to it. Okay, what is blocking my path here? I don't know. But I'm going through here. Yep, more you may nick ye. Interesting that the little people or whatever disappear. Our light support systems. There we go. I honestly feel like sunny right now. My heart is legit beating. Like, so hard right now. I know this doesn't make for, like, riveting commentary, but I legit am at a loss for words because we're in probably one of the most serious parts of the game. And it's hard to talk about it. Because essentially Sunny is re-piecing together the memories that Amori was trying to protect him from. Which is one reason why Sunny separated from him. The person is breathing steadily. I'm glad, I think.
trying to recall where all the photos is. The door is locked. Okay. happened there. The person is not breathing. There we go. Now we can continue. I think I can guess who that is. If all the context clues happen to be exactly what I think they are. That was me bumping into my keyboard. Just ignore that. Ooh. Dissonant. That was the word I was trying to think of earlier. Dissonant. A lot of this music is becoming more and more dissonant. Looks like Sonny's bleeding. Whoa! What the hell? What just happened? Uh, hi. Sonny, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. I'm so glad. Oh, whoa, both his ears are red now. Ugh. Oh, lovely. Now we're bleeding. Yeah, that you may Nikki inspiration really is showing itself now, ain't it? Boy, the last one. Something is preventing you from getting any closer. I mean, something can go fuck himself. Whew. I wonder who that could be. And Sonny. Taking quite a beating here, buddy. Whoa, what? Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! screw in the light bulb. Yep, I guess. I found a chair. <gasps> Everything changed. Interesting. Oh boy. Looks like we're not going to be able to progress until we start piecing things together again. Thank God Basil 
keeps track of a lot of these things. I'm guessing basil is kind of like a representation of the stuff Sunny wants to hold back. Amori represents Sunny's inability to move forward, etc., etc. And I'm hungry all of a sudden. I don't know why. Probably because I didn't really eat before I went to bed earlier. Man, those bloody footprints are creepy. Wonder what this could be implying. See some rope. I wonder what part of headspace we're even in at this point. Are we in like black space? Red space? Black space two? Where are we? I'm guessing on the red background, we're in red space, which would be the deepest part of head space, but who knows? It's always been like one of my biggest mysteries of this game. It's just like, where are we? Oh, lovely. That's, that's a fun thing to look at. This could be him playing. The backgrounds are actually pretty interesting looking. I really do like the way they look. Just kind of like this very dissonant purple and bloody red. It's just very interesting. Okay, yay! Yeah. This is not the time for yawning, man. I can't even make jokes right now for what that looks like because... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I think we just found out what something represents. Yep. Turns out... The person responsible for Mari's disappearance and death was Sunny. So, that's the big reveal. Sunny was the cause. And he's been dealing with it ever since. He unintentionally murdered his sister. So, that's a, that's a big reveal. Though, what happened was essentially 
Sonny was kind of cracking under the pressure. And not knowing where Mari was, he, out of frustration, pushed her down the stairs. And in doing so, accidentally killed her. He didn't necessarily mean to kill her, he just meant to just move her out of the way, out of frustration, but... This is why you gotta pay attention to where things are. Trying to figure out, like, what to do and being a dumb 12-year-old kid, Sonny tried to frame it like it was a suicide in order to avoid people finding out. Basil, in trying to um, think that his friend was still all well and good, assisted him. So now, both share the same pain. Both share the something that's been eating at them for the last four years. See you guys later. Bye.